And I have a really fun card for you today, and I mean fun. I've got the magical butterflies here, and we are going to actually open this card and have them float. How's that for a little bit different? So the dies we're going to be using for today's card are the magical butterflies. That's the star of the show. And we're going to be cutting our aperture and our sentiment with the Salzburg from the Austrian collection. And the background is embossed with a new pinpoint design called checkerboard. It's really, really lovely. So let's get started. We're going to do a bit of cutting first. We need to cut an aperture. So I'm going to take the inside cutting ring from the Salzburg and I'm going to line it up just about in the center of the card and cut, cut an aperture. Let's get our cutting mats. Pop that into place and run it through the grand caliber. There we go. So I have our aperture that we'll be able to see our sentiment through. Now I've got a, um, a score line on my card. Put that back. And that's where I'm going to be doing some taping towards the end, of the, um, the end of the card there. So what I want to do is put the rest of it into the folder and leave that area out of the edge. Just line that up about like that. And we'll run that through and get the rest of the card embossed. And I want to make sure that I get it as close to that edge as I possibly can. Let me just pop that in a little bit further. There we go. And cover it with the raspberry plate and let's run it through. Get some beautiful detail on the front of this. Okay. So you can see I've got the whole front of that embossed beautifully except for that top part and we'll do a little bit of um, taping right there. And I'm going to pop this backwards on the score line just so I have an area to, to um, tape to. Now to do our um, actual butterflies and I think it's probably easier to do them and then come back and finish up the front of the card. What we need to do is put a piece of red score tape on there so we have something to attach them to. And you can use pieces of um, acetate or plastic, uh, clear window plastic for this. The, um, the only thing you need to know is it's got to be heavy enough to actually hold the butterfly without flopping over. You want a little bit of movement so you don't want it too stiff. So I'm just going to do some gluing and put some of our butterflies into place. And I've cut a couple of different colored ones here. We'll just pop that one on there. And let's do a... Let's do a purple one and we can do one of the aqua ones. Put that into place, give that a second to set up and I think we'll do a shorter one, have them kind of staggered in height. Let's see, we're missing, oh there he is, an aqua one. A little bit of gluing, pop that into place. Okay, so now you want this to open up and show your butterflies going this direction. So you're just going to have to decide where you want to put them and you don't want them to go off the card. So before you even peel the strip off the back, I recommend checking to see where they will be going and that they'll be on the inside of your card. You also want to make sure that they're not going to show through your window um, for when the card is closed. So. Let's pop that open. I think we might have to do a little adjusting, but I think this will work nicely. Take the liner off of this tape. And we're going to put that one right about there. I think I'll put a little one down lower and closer to it. In fact, it can even kind of overlap. That's quite cute. Let's check to make sure that that looks like it's going to be just about where we need it. He's going to show in a little bit, so we'll move him over a tiny bit there. Put him back on his acetate. There we go. That should work. And do the last one on the far side here. 
just so he sits inside of that card. Should be about right. So you can check when you're doing your own and just make sure that it's going to seat in there really nicely. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach this. I'm just lining up the two edges here to catch this. About like that. Not bad, so we've got them where they're fluttering. Okay, and I'm going to do some cutting so we'll have a really pretty sentiment on the inside here. So I'm going to use the two outer rings on the Salzburg. So I'm going to line them up just around my sentiment using the decorative edge and the cutting edge. There we go. Let's set that aside. And we'll run this one through. I've used a, a really pretty butterfly saying for the inside of the card, but you can make the sentiment anything you like. Run this through. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of embossing to it. I'll cover it with the tan mat and the pink plate and run it through to emboss. There we go. So let's take this one out and do all my tape. Gently peel that back. And we will put that back onto our magnetic sheet and let's pop this piece out. And we've got a bit, some bits here. We'll just poke them out with our pokey tool. So I've done a really pretty sentiment there, really nicely um, inside that decorative die. Okay, so a bit of mounting foam on the back of that. And then to create an interesting look on the front of it, what we're going to do is line this up so you can see it right through there. I find it's just easier to do it this way, making sure it closes nicely where you want it. Okay. And then on the front of our card, I've actually gone ahead and used the cutting edges to create a frame around that, just to soften that a little bit. I've added some mounting foam to raise it for some dimension. We're going to put that right over that opening. Okay. And to decorate it a little bit more, we're going to add some butterflies. So I've got a bunch of them cut here, so we'll use some of these. And I've got the side view of the butterfly. I've done it twice and uh, glued them together right there, pulled the wings apart, added a little bit of ice snow to the top. So we'll go ahead and glue him right on the edge. There we go. Oops. I think he'll look really cute just on the top of this frame. Okay, and let's put a couple more. And I've done the um, little three millimeter pearls here all in the center of the bodies. And we'll just pop these around the edge. And let's go with an aqua one. And we'll just have them all kind of off the edge. And we'll put a little purple one at the bottom. and add a couple more butterflies to the inside of the card. And a little purple one, let's put that over here. And a little blue one, we can decorate it all up the top. There we go. So now you've got a cute little card, all decorated with your butterflies. I think the only thing it needs are just a few little pearl swirls to be added around. So I'm going to peel some off of the acetate and we'll pop just one down in the corner here. These are perfect for adding a little bit extra on your cards. And put that right into place there. There we go. So how pretty is that? So I've got the butterflies on the outside, open it up and you've got your floating butterflies on the inside as well as a few down here with a beautiful sentiment. Just kind of a fun 
different sort of card, but I think it was really enjoyable. Hope you've liked it too.